I'm Samad Brambhat and I'm introducing a new contact and hand post dataset called Contact Post. This work is a collaboration between Georgia Tech and Facebook Reality Labs. I was advised by Cheng Cheng Tang and Chris Twig at FRL and Charlie Kemp and James Hayes at Georgia Tech. Understanding hands in action has been a long-standing goal. For example, this image shows not only someone holding a camera, but also that they intend to take a picture and recognizing contact is important for this understanding. In fact, contact is important for all sorts of physical interactions with objects, people, although that is discouraged these days, and even robots. Accurate hand object contact models can help with simulation and design of soft robotic hands in making hand and object motions more realistic in VR and in robotic grasping. Recent vision algorithms have improved hand pose estimation during grasping, but they lack proper contact estimation. In VR and in simulation, contact is often oversimplified as one point per fingertip. I will note that body level contact reasoning is becoming popular for body pose estimation. Here we present the contact pose dataset, which has high resolution contact encoded in the mesh texture 3D hand joints, optimized mano hand meshes, and multi-view RGBD images annotated with hand and object pose. This data enables a rigorous study of contact modeling by providing ground truth contact paired with various data modalities. We also present our own experiments on learning contact models and comparisons with heuristic baselines. To capture contact, we used the method from Brumbert et al, which uses thermal imaging to observe the heat left by warm hands on the object surface after grasping. And we used life scale 3D printed models of household objects. An OptiTrack system tracked the object, Kinect's recorded multi-view grasp images, and a FLIR thermal camera captured contact when the object was placed on a turntable after grasping. Participants held the object in a static grasp and moved it randomly for 10 seconds. Object pose was tracked by OptiTrack and open pose was used to detect 2D joints in the Kinect images. Individual joint detections are noisy, but accurate 3D joints can be triangulated from multiple detections because the hand is stationary with respect to object. Here's the optimized results with hand and object pose projected into the image. Tracking requires attaching markers to the object surface which can influence grasping behavior. We reduce this by embedding small hemispherical markers flush with the object surface. This offers a good compromise between unobtrusiveness and tracking performance. Contact pose has grasps with two functional intents, use and handoff, and single-handed as well as bimanual grasps. With 50 participants and 25 objects, it has 2300 contact maps and almost 3 million RGBD grasp images. In contrast to other hand object datasets, contact pose offers a unique combination of ground truth contact, hand and object pose, and almost markerless RGBD images. Since we are interested in hand object contact, we estimated embodied hand meshes by fitting MANO models to the 3D joints by optimizing the hand shape, hand pose, and some regularization on the hand shape. Here are some examples. The high accuracy of this fitting process indicates that our 3D joint annotations are in more physically plausible configurations than other datasets. We can also associate contacted object points to the hand parts responsible for contact using nearest neighbor. This figure shows non-contacted areas in white and contacted areas color-coded by nearest finger and similarly by nearest phalange. Now let's look at some analysis of the data. We use this association to calculate contact frequency over the entire hand, revealing some interesting patterns. The thumb and index finger are the most contacted fingers, and tips are the most contacted phalanges as expected. 
but a lot of contact surprisingly happens at the non-fingertip areas as well. Contact probabilities of all three index phalanges are much higher than the little finger. This indicates that all fingers are not used equally during grasping and can inform robotic hand design. Finally, contact is concentrated at the thumb and index finger for handoff, whereas it is more spread out for use. We discovered active areas on objects by integrating the probability of being contacted by a specific part of the hand over the entire dataset. We also measured the diversity of the hand pose in terms of the variance of 3D joint locations after accounting for object symmetry. We see that use grasps are much more constrained than handoff grasps, which intuitively makes sense. Next, we used this data to learn contact models. Given the object point cloud and hand pose, we extracted hand pose features for each object point and trained a neural network to predict contact values for each object point. We investigated four kinds of hand pose features. Simple joints directly used 3D hand joint values. Relative joints used vectors from object points to hand joints. Skeleton features used vectors from object points to the closest point on each bone line segment. And mesh features used vectors to the closest point on the hand mesh. It is desirable to represent contact as a continuous value to capture all the nuances present in the ground truth. But we found that simple regression is biased towards predicting no contact because that is the most frequent label. We can get better results by discretizing the contact values, performing multi-class classification, and adjusting the loss by the occurrence frequency of the quantizations. This is inspired by image colorization work from Zhang et al. And at test time, we used the annealed mean as the continuous prediction. This was compared to a simple but powerful heuristic, which uses the penetration depth inside the con conic distance field of object mesh faces as a proxy for contact. Here's an example contact prediction from our model that uses skeleton features. Black indicates that all features for those phalanges were zeroed out to simulate imperfect hand pose. We also used RGB images to predict contact. We cropped a patch around the hand and randomized the background using COCO images and passed them through an encoder decoder CNN to get 40 dimensional features for each pixel. Using known object pose and camera intrinsics, we aggregated the image features for visible 3D points and then we use the same PointNet++ architecture and contact representation to predict contact. Here's an example result. Quantitatively, we see that machine learning enables algorithms using object point cloud and sparse hand features to outperform the heuristic that uses full object and hand meshes. You can explore and download the dataset, code, and models at this website. And here are some example contact maps and 3D hand joints from contact pose. Hand and object pose projected into images from the first Kinect, second Kinect, and third Kinect. Thank you.